Ayushman Bharat, uh, India's recently launched National Health Protection Mission, is the world's largest government-funded healthcare program. It will cover over 10 crore families uh, who are poor and vulnerable, with approximately 50 crore beneficiaries getting a coverage of up to 5 lakh rupees per family per year for secondary and tertiary healthcare. In just a couple of months, over three and a half lakh beneficiaries have been treated under the scheme till the end of November, according to the National Health Agency. The person who has been translating Prime Minister Modi's vision on ground is Dr. Indu Bhushan, the CEO of Aishman Bharat. An IS officer, Dr. Bhushan worked with the World Bank and the Asian Development Bank, where he worked for nearly a decade, till he was appointed the CEO of uh, Ayushman Bharat in March 2018. I would now request Dr. Bhushan to please come up here and address the audience. A round of applause for Dr. Bhushan, please. Uh, Dr. Kamal, Dr. John, Dr. Puddar, thank you very much for inviting me here today. Uh, I have a slightly long presentation, but uh, unfortunately I need to leave and I have to reach somewhere at 3.30, so I'll make it short. And uh, I'll of course share my uh, slides with you uh, that gives the flavor of uh, what I would have said. But let me focus on one issue uh, that when we talk about uh, Ayushman Bharat, Pradhan Mantri Jan Aryogya Yojana, People call it, it's a game changer. They say uh, it's going to disrupt the health sector in a positive manner. And uh, the question is how? Uh, we believe that there are at least four reasons why this scheme is going to change the picture of health sector for time to come. One, about the scale. Everyone talks about the scale, that number of people uh, that we are going to cover. Uh, Honorable Prime Minister says that we are going to cover more than 500 million people, which is equal to the population of uh, Canada, US, Mexico put together and more. Uh, but it's more than just the population covered uh, in terms of uh, providing coverage of 5 lakhs, in, uh, in terms of provide, uh, covering number of benefit packages. I think it's unprecedented. Uh, it's a big leap into uh, universal health care, and once uh, we have this scheme in place, uh, we'll be covering more than 50% of our population, including the what is being done uh, in, by the states. So this is a huge leap uh, towards universal health coverage, and uh, that's one reason why this is going to uh, change the picture. Second reason is that this is the first time that in such a way, in such a manner, we are focusing on demand side financing. For last 70 years, much of the financing at the public sector has gone towards supply side financing. That is that we have created hospitals, we have created services, and the assumption has been that once the services are there, poor people will be benefited. But it is very clear that that assumption has not come true. Here, in this scheme, we are financing only when the poor people or poorest 40% or 50% people have used services. So it's uh, uh, putting the whole system on its head, financing only when we have achieved the outcome. And so that is the second reason why this system is going to change, because this is going to fundamentally change the incentive structure in the health sector. Third reason is that we are getting into a stage of collective bargaining. So far, individual patient has to negotiate with the provider in terms of the prices, uh, in terms of outcome, in terms of quality. But now, since 500 million people are working under one scheme, there is a possibility of collective uh, bargaining. We can be uh, negotiating with the, not only providers, but also with the manufacturers of uh, devices, suppliers of medicine, to provide more reasonable uh, prices and quality of services. So that's the third reason that this uh, is going to change the system. 
And fourth and final reason is that this is a scheme where we have a meaningful engagement with the private sector. Much of or many of or most of uh, uh, government schemes have focused on public sector. And here, for the first time, in a major way, we are also engaging with private sector and that gives us leverage and also a way to go forward together with private sector. So these are the four reasons that makes this sets this scheme apart from anything else that has gone before this scheme. Uh, I know that some of you also may be interested in uh, knowing where we are. Uh, as you know that this scheme was launched by the Honorable Prime Minister on 23rd of September from Jharkhand, Ranchi. And so we've had about, uh, sorry, I'll, So we've had about uh, uh, 10 weeks of implementation. And in these 10 weeks, and 10 weeks is not a long time, uh, we have more than 14,000 hospitals which are impanelled. And most of those hospitals are pub private sector hospitals. Like I mentioned that this is a scheme where we have a meaningful engagement with private sector in a big way. And that is shown in our hospital impanelment uh, out of 14,000 hospitals more than 8,000 hospitals are private hospitals. So far, we have provided benefit to more than 4.6 lakhs beneficiaries. And these days, every day, we are providing benefit to more than 10,000 beneficiaries. And soon, once the scheme is in place uh, and deeply rooted in the system, we expect that this number will go up to 30,000. And in a month, we'll have more, more than uh, the three lakhs, uh, three lakh beneficiaries. So, uh, so far, uh, the thing has been, uh, has been going quite well. And out of these uh, 4.6 lakh beneficiaries, about two thirds have gone to the private sector. Only one third have been treated by uh, public sector. And about 40% of the, those uh, cases have been in tertiary care, about 60% in uh, primary primary care. Uh, also, the amount which has been uh, authorized is more than 600 crores, and this number is growing exponentially. One thing that we have promised under the scheme is that we'll be providing payment after the claim has been raised within 15 days, and we monitor that very carefully, and we'll ensure that payment is made within 15 days. Uh, in terms of outreach as well, uh, Honorable Prime Minister has written letters to all 10 crore families and more than 5 crore letters have been dispatched and received by the, um, by the beneficiary families and remaining 5 crore will be dispatched and received within next one month. And we have generated more than 13 lakh cards and these cards are generated at the time of service or common service centers in villages. Uh, we have a toll-free number and we've uh, received more than uh, 1 million, more than 10 lakh uh, calls and uh, we receive uh, between 10 to 30,000 calls every day. In addition, uh, we have a website where people can go and see whether they're eligible or not. And, uh, we, and that website is very popular and more than 3 million unique uh, hits we've received so far and uh, that shows the interest, level of interest that people have in finding out about their eligibility and finding about the, about the scheme. So that's where we are today. And it's only early days, uh, not even first 100 days. But we are quite confident that if it makes uh, keep this trend going, uh, we will be making a huge uh, uh, change in the system. And the problems which are raised uh, before my speakers uh, will be uh, we'll be very, uh, we are very confident that we'll address and make a big dent uh, into those challenge challenges. Uh, as someone has said, that, uh, or it's a uh, rather African saying, that if you want to go fast, you go alone. But if you want to go far, you go in a group. And uh, this scheme is not a sprint, it's a marathon, and it's just started. So since we want to go very far, we have to work together with the many stakeholders, including people like you, because unless we are working together with the private sector, academia, and stakeholders uh, uh, all around the country, 
including state governments, we don't think this scheme will be, uh, will, can be a success. So with that, I thank you again for your attention and thank you for inviting me to this uh, conference. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Bhushan.